Hello students, welcome to the online classes of Cerebral Institute. This video on basics of accounting part 3 is brought to you by Cerebral Institute Sparking Imaginative Learning. Now, um, in our part 1 and part 2, we have already discussed about the accounting, what is accounting, the main basic important terms that we use in our accounting system and the three important and golden rules of accounting. In part three, we will discuss about the journal. Here, I want to, uh, you know, I want to let you know one thing that journal is the primary thing in our accounting system. That means our accounting process starts with journal. So, let's move on. Okay, now first of all we will discuss that what is journal. As I already told you that our accounting process starts with the journal. All the transactions are first recorded in the journal specimen. After that we will manufacture or we will prepare other accounts like ledger, your cash book, your BRS and final statement. So, the first and the foremost step of accounting process is a journal. Now, a journal is a record of financial transactions in order by date. So, we can say that in journal we have all the transactions, we have the date of the transactions, right? And we have the detail of the transaction in date wise and in terms of year money wise. The total of the debit must be equal to the total of the credits. If there is any discrepancy between your debit and the credit totals that means your journal is not appropriate. There is something mistake. There is something wrong in your journal. Okay. Specimen of journal is like this. Like this. There is a date column where your date is recorded. Particulars, particulars, in particulars you will record your transactions, your nature of transactions. LF stands for your ledger folio. A ledger folio uh, can be, you know, ignorable because there is no any need of your ledger folio part. Amount, amount, your debtor amount and your credit side amount. Debit and credit. So at the end your debit side should be equal to your credit side. If it is not so, that that's a red signal for you. Let's take an illustration. Illustration is Mr. Gupta has the following transactions during the year past the necessary journal entries. Here we will prepare the journal of Mr. Gupta. Okay, let, let us understand. The first uh, entry is of April 1. The entry is started business with rupees 2 lakhs and bring furniture 50,000. As I already told you, the amount and the furniture or the asset we bring into our business to start is known as your capital. So that means this cash of 2 lakh and this furniture of 50,000 is what? It is your capital. Right? Okay. Let's, let us understand the concept of the rules. Here, if we see, something is coming into our business. What is coming? Cash of 2 lakh. The 2 lakh is coming. Right? And furniture of 50,000 is also coming. So, debit what comes in. That means, we will, we will debit our cash. Here, we are debiting the cash. Why? Because cash is coming into our business as well as furniture is also coming into our business. So, both the things will be debited. And capital account is always credited. Note here, note down this thing is that your capital account is always credited. Why? Because you are giving, you are, you are the giver. Capital account is the giver account. So, your capital account will always be recorded in your credit side. So, the cash amount is 2 lakh, 
फर्नीचर अमाउंट इज फिफ्टी लैख विल रिकॉर्ड कैश डेबिट साइड टू लैख फर्नीचर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड द टोटल अमाउंट विल बी योर टू फिफ्टी बिकॉज दिस दिस अमाउंट इज योर कैपिटल अमाउंट आई होप यू ऑल आर गेटिंग ओके नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट इज परचेज गुड्स वर्थ रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फ्रॉम राजेश ऑन क्रेडिट डिस्काउंट रिसीव वन लैख हेयर यू आर परचेजिंग गुड्स परचेजिंग मीन्स गुड्स आर कमिंग इन टू योर बिजनेस एंड यू आर परचेजिंग गुड्स ऑन क्रेडिट दैट मीन्स पर्सनल अकाउंट रूल विल ऑल्सो बी कंसिडर इन दिस एंट्री ओके हेयर यू यू आर यू आर रिसीविंग डिस्काउंट you are receiving discount means that means you are earning something discount received here is your income so okay how will record how we will record this transaction in our journal something like this purchase is a come why because you have purchased something that means goods goods are coming into your business right discount received will be credited why because Credit all income and gains. Here, discount received is your income, so you will record your discount received in your credit side. And Rajesh will come on the credit side. Why? Because Rajesh is is the giver. Personal account rule will also apply here. Why? Because you are receiving goods on credit basis. And whenever there is a credit base, you will write the rule one. That is. Debit the receiver and credit the giver. So Rajesh is here your giver. So you will place Rajesh in in the credit side. Amounts will be you are purchasing for twenty five thousand. Correct. Discount you are receiving is one thousand. Correct. And you will pay Rajesh what twenty four thousand. Why? Because from twenty five thousand you are receiving one thousand in discount. So This one thousand will be reduced from your principal amount, and you will left only with twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand amount will go to your giver's account. Note one thing here: this being goods purchased on credit and discount received, and above we have used being business started with cash or furniture. This thing is your very important part in your journal. Why? Because without this detail. your journal will consider as incomplete so make sure that every after every entry you should write the details of your entries okay let's move on third one is sold goods to manish 10000 discount a lot 500 here you are selling goods that means something is going out of your business so your sales account would be credited okay Discount a lot. You are allowing discount. That means this is your loss, and losses are always debited. And who is receiving here? The Manish is receiving here, right? So debit the receiver. So your entry would be like this. Manish account debit. Why? Debit the receiver. Manish is receiving here. Discount a lot debit. Why? Because you are giving discount, and this is your loss. so you will debit your losses and and expenses very good then is your two sales account sales in is in credit side why because something is going out of your business so credit credit what goes out here the transaction is of 10000 correct discount you are you are giving discount of rupees 500 correct and ultimately manish account will be debited by 9500 why because From ten thousand, you are giving discount five hundred, and you are left with only with ninety-five thousand hundred thousand. Okay, okay. Let's move on. Next is bought machinery for one lakh fifty thousand. Here you are purchasing machinery. So here you are purchasing machinery. What will happen? But machinery is coming into your business. so debit what comes in machinery and credit what goes out your cash is going out and your machinery is coming in so simple entry machinery account debit to cash account so simple amount 
will be the same. Okay, next one. Rent paid. Here you are paying rent. Rent is your expense. And expense is all always debited. So you will get rent account. Why? Because expense. And what is going out of your business? Cash. So rent account debited to cash with 5000 and 5000. Important point is to be noted that your debit side amount is equal to your credit side amount. That means your journal is absolutely correct. If there is any discrepancy, then there is something mistake. Okay. Okay. Let's understand the very important concept in journal. That is opening journal entry. Opening journal entry is based on the rule that you will debit all the uh, debit ex debit uh, amounts and you will credit all the credit amounts. Like we have. Illustration cash 10,000, stock, land building, debtors Vijay Ajay, loan, creditors Rohan and Sohan. Here, your cash is your asset, stock is your asset, land and building is your asset. Assets are always debited. Debtors Vijay and Ajay, they also will be debited. Loan is your liability. On the credit side, creditors are always recorded in your credit side. So, as simple it, it is, your entry will be like this. Cash account debited, stock debited, everything debited and to loan account. Here one thing is noted that the difference between the two will be regarded as your capital account. That is a balancing figure. Thank you for watching.